So the iPhone X and the Google Pixel 2, both are amazing phones, but at the end of the day, I would actually go for the iPhone X. To be perfectly honest, the iPhone X just looks so much better than the Google Pixel 2. The Google Pixel 2 has kind of a utilitarian feel to it. It's not a bad looking phone per se, you know, it's more function over form. Whereas the iPhone X, you know, is just exudes pure unguent luxury with its glass front and back and stainless steel frame. I'm pretty certain that I'm being objective when I say the iPhone X looks better than the Google Pixel 2. Android phones, hardware-wise, were a better option. Actually, the iPhone X is kind of cut up with that. The iPhone X has a glorious edge-to-edge -edge OLED screen. There's wireless charging now, and then there's also fast charging on the iPhone X. So now you have an iPhone X, which has a lot of the features that Android phones used to have. Those features used to be boasting rights for Android, and now they're on parity. Apps just feel like they're better optimized and better designed for iOS than they are for Android. And I think there's a very empirical reason for that. And that's because for app developers, it's easier to develop an app for iOS than it is for Android. Basically, that's because there are fewer Apple devices that developers need to think about. Whereas with Android phones, <laughs> uh, there's like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different phones with different specs and hardware inside, different screen sizes, and they're also running different uh, versions of the Android operating system. So a Android developers have to think about what version uh, of Android that the Android users are using on their phones. Over 65% of Android users are using Android 6.0 Marshmallow and earlier. That's uh, 2015 and earlier. Meanwhile, in Apple land, only 10% of users are on an operating system that's two years or older, 10%. For app developers, having a, a good idea at least of what operating system your users are going to use really helps. The choice of smartphones that Android brings is great, but it is also kind of a, of a hindrance that kind of affects app development and apps. The ecosystem. We've heard this before, ecosystem. Yes, the iPhone works beautifully, flawlessly with other Apple devices. It's important for me. Uh, I use AirDrop a lot, for example. Also, you know, iMessages, that's a huge thing that a lot of iOS users still just grasp onto. And it's like the big thing that stops a lot of iOS users from switching over to Android. All the, all the Apple products just work really well together. It creates a, just a much stronger ecosystem than what you can find on Android, basically. You know, if you, if you got a problem with the iPhone, you take it to the store. It's, it's so easy, whereas for a lot of Android phone companies, including Google, there are not a lot of stores where you can just bring your device to, you know, to get it repaired or get some help with something. Um, if, you have a, if you have a problem with your Android phone, you're probably gonna bring it to your carrier. For example, Pixel 2, that's a Verizon exclusive, even though it works with all the other carriers. You bring it to the Verizon store, and you know, that's just not as complete or as good an experience as it would be for an iPhone user to bring their phone to the Apple store. So yeah, at the end of the day, I mean, I love the Pixel 2 XL, I really do. It, it is really a great, great phone. It's also a little bit cheaper than the iPhone X. For the ecosystem, for the apps, for the iOS, for the support system, the iPhone and the iPhone X specifically would be my phone of choice.